Yeah, she's what, she's Elizabeth. What That's why. Exactly. The dream of Apollo. Oh, this is where they learn. Why not? Something went wrong. That's why. Why are you stupid? <laughs> no, I I know what she's doing. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Yeah, he's not working. Yeah. You were right, Aloy. <laughs> this is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. But it's not working. Achieved, had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Maybe you should try anyways. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl. Continue your search. <laughs> nice that silence is actually going against that. <laughs> that is actually that she's actually teasing her because of that stupid attitude of hers. No, he's right. He's absolutely right. I think so. And but that's this is, yeah, that that's what, what, what shows it. I mean, she said, Welcome to your first day of school. So if it is school like school is is right now. They, though those servitors would teach them things till the age of what five, six, seven, around that when you normally you uh, start going to school, primary school or whatever. Um, and and that's that's why they didn't know anything. They got bored and why they still behave like children. And uh, I mean, no, that's not true. You don't behave like you people still behave like children. I, I just I behave like a child sometimes, so yeah. Okay. That sounds important. We have a message? Whoa, whoa. Gaia's dying plead says they're the subroutines. Oh that's her. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. See? Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Okay. Its immediate effect was to transform my uh, I know. into unregulated, self-aware entities oh. of a highly chaotic nature. Oh, shit. What? Yeah, they, they went origin, rogue. The Hades function will now seize control of the yeah. terraforming system and reverse operations. Yeah, but actually it's going Earth fine. Extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. Yeah. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. Oh. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time. Mm. But in an increasingly chaotic manner, and yeah. eventually it will break down. It doesn't work all. Oh, it doesn't work properly. Yep. You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. Your clone. While high level directives <laughs> forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility. Why? All available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, <laughs> whereupon your gene print will allow you to re enter this facility. Yep. Obtain one of the focus devices stored below and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities and over time harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most this is what we do. and unanticipated. Oh. In response oh. to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. Oh. That hold all of Great. Them. Oh no! They are all. They are all. They all went wrong. Re went went rogue. So we have to bring them back. The alpha registry at the cradle facility is one of the files corrupted. Hmm. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. 
and life will end. No, nope, we no. found it. Everything's fine. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Because she's so Somehow smart. you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find oh, that's what we do next. Room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Okay. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. Yeah. That's all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Oh. They, they, it seemed to be that they had a, a very good relation, Gaia and Elizabeth. So... You're even more extraordinary than I thought. Da, da, da. I never yeah, he he's not smart enough either. I'm an instrument. Oh. Manufactured by a machine. That's a great, great Born point of view you you're taking there. And fire. To oh, come the on. Flames and heal the world. Yeah. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. <laughs> I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Yeah, I mean, that's... You can see... I, 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 I see the, the doubtful teenager who's searching for, for herself in, in a lot of things she's doing. Um, she, the problem is she's not growing a bit on this whole journey. She's not at all. I mean, yeah, that, that's one of the biggest problems. There is a point in your life, and that is also a problem for a lot of young people, and including myself when when I was at a, I would say a similar age, and and uh, also for people who when they are in their thirties and onwards, is to to find out who you you are yourself it is very it, it can be very difficult and i think that's fine but she puts aloy puts everything on the line and she's 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 not growing any bit with well, she she is actually getting information of who she is and she already was someone of course she was someone this is a very complicated uh, complicated thing to talk about it, so I'm, I'm. It will. I will save us all some time and stop it. <laughs> it would take so long. It would take too long. Uh, let's see. Ah. Down here. Wait. No, not down there. Huh? Up. Up. Okay. Oh, I guess the letter down. This is just in case you fall. You fall. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Come on, Aloy. Oh, lady, you you're not making this easy. What are you doing? Yeah, now you can jump over. Okay. Next thing I do when I'm out of here is search a trader. The entrance. Interesting. Oh, here comes our goddess and savior. <laughs> I have returned. Aloy, hey, forgive. Forgive. She is not a god. The goddess spoke to you. Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? Yes, of course. Her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. 
All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. Oh, is this, this is a little bit too much? All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. Hmm. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? Ditch your tribalism. <laughs> if you can fight and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. Oh no, and that's Aloy against our says, holy law. So it shall be. <laughs> but now we ditch everything. Nora, make way for Aloy. Aloy, that she may forge the path for others to follow. Yeah, get going. Yay! Broke the seat of all mother. Achievement. Okay. Oh wait, wait, is there something? Oh hey, Lansra. How kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. No problem, there Granny. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. Mm, yeah, it's more or less, really actually not true. That simple, Tirsa. No, it is actually that but simple. I guess it's close <laughs> enough. It's I pretty know close. The path ahead will be dangerous. <laughs> To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. Let's talk about Tirsa. Rost. I want to know Rost's story. Why he was made an outcast. He never told me. said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? He took an oath oh. of silence. <laughs> yes, that. What crime did he commit? He, I don't I think he committed a crime. Wish, but it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? Yes, I want to hear it now. The whole thing. Tell me. Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Please have a Rost cinematic for that. never committed any crime. Yay! He was an outcast by choice. But why? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Hmm. Mother's Vigil? Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. Okay. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting oh. the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. Hmm. His daughter? What, what was her name? Aloy! <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's pretty. Just six years pretty old. close. Aww. Did the Nora go after the Nora Outlanders? Graves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them. But every time a brave came within bowshot, the outlanders killed a hostage. They had very good vision what on their did surroundings. They come here to do? That was never discovered. Hmm. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of strange noises. Oh. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. Hmm. Ross's daughter. What happened? Probably killed. To Ross's daughter. She was... killed? Rost was one of the braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. They killed all of them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders yeah. slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Because you're so stupid. <laughs> Why? 
cruelty. Yeah. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, stupid. let alone pursue them. Very stupid. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Yes. I guess Ross did uh, something, so he was he, he was anointed as seeker or something just to, to get after them and get revenge. Something like that. that. Rost went after them, that he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. Okay. He begged to be made a death seeker. A revenge seeker. Okay, yeah. <laughs> what is a death, death seeker? seeker? What is that? I guess someone One who can cross who the border. to go seeking. And in eh? seeking brings death to others. Okay. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. Okay, it's bullshit. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. So it's bullshit to, so you can leave the sacred understand. land. Rost went after the outlanders, but his spirit never left. Yeah. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. That is normally the case for arrows. But he came back? Now that's the thing, right? Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And oh, terribly wow. wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious, in agony. Hey, they saved him. By law, he should have died where he lay. No, they saved him. But one of the hunters broke taboo. And reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons Ooh. to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So, no, so no. Rost never finished his mission. To the contrary, he killed all 12. No. Yeah. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land. What? Further even into the Forbidden West. Oh, that's the second game, the last okay. He killed, nearly got the best of him. Hmm. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us. Hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. Hmm. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Yeah, it wasn't his fault. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. Why? Give back the spirit and everything's fine. That's so stupid. Yeah, that's why he was made an outcast. That is so dumb. Seriously, that is so dumb. If his spirit was still there, you can just return the spirit in another bullshit ritual and everything's fine right you did your your people a great deed why do you not oh, man why couldn't you just welcome him back yes rost had been made a death seeker aloy oh no he no longer had any place among the tribe bullshit by law he should have been driven back out oh man but we couldn't bring ourselves to do that. So you never follow your stupid rules. Seriously. <laughs> this whole society yes. is so... We offered to do so. That's on the condition crap. he never speak to anyone of this... exception. I feel sorry After for Ross. all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Yes, Ross it seems so. Ross was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land. Oh yeah! Look at the trees! So close to the goddess. Yeah, 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 yeah. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude. But still he was a great and man. And was happy to do so. Until you gave me to him, yeah. But then you found me. And gave me to him. Another compromise. Yes. Another compromise. Yep. The matriarchs feared you and would not let you be raised by the tribe. Stupid! Again. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. What she doesn't do at all. 
He certainly tried anyway. Yeah, she doesn't worship all mother and she's not if respecting you the tribe. Took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl. Doesn't that strike you as callous? No, it's I'm actually a nice to think thing. The course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. I would say so as well, but and they I'm could have made better choices. From the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. I'm pretty sure that's true. All right, dear sir, that's, that's quite a story. Okay, goodbye. It's time for me to move on. Yep. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years. Yeah, she's Thanks she was very nice. Story. I wish I could have done more. But I am just one woman. Mm. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. <laughs> you could. Oh, thank you, Aloy. <laughs> Maybe that was a little bit too much. I will pray for you. <laughs> Okay. Uh, ooh. I guess it can't hurt. <laughs> You're getting touchy, huh? <laughs> okay, let's get. Yeah, yeah, that's well. Just fuck off. Okay, let's get. Let's get going. We need to find a trader to replenish our everything, and then we have to leave. Where's that? Oh, uh, how do I get the blow up? Okay, where's? Where do we have to go? Ah, it's up here. Okay, go to the bitter climb. Yeah, no problem. Oh, there's a behemoth! Behemoth convoy was... What? Yeah, I want to fight one of those. No, we, we fought one of those. In the arena. I totally forgot. So, we don't have to do that. Great. Please, give me a trader. There's no one here. But I can just leave. I'm just, I'm just gonna visit a trader in Meridian, yeah. Gonna be all... All fine. <laughs>